Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nethercast. Uh, I am Razor. With me are Cyborg Temp and Shad, as usual. Uh, as well as uh, Downfor and uh, he calls himself Darius Man now. <laughs> Smoke Man died. Yeah, yeah, we've got a we've got a packed house for this one. Um, mostly because, for the same reason, I'm doing the intro instead of Cyborg. Uh, Cyborg went to Evo. Which you would think would mean he'd come back with all kinds of things to say about, you know, the game and the getting to play a test build, but uh, it gave him COVID and he's got a real bad cough and he can't smell or taste anything, and uh, here we are. I blame uh, the Smash players. Uh, even so, I'm going to turn it over to him to give his thoughts about, you know, whatever he wants to talk about before he uh, runs out of breath and, you know, get that out of the way so you can go and rest his throat. Sorry. Yeah. Um, thanks for that kind introduction. So I do have, I do want to recap some Evo stuff. Um, first of all, for anybody that's been following us for a while, I have a fun uh, chapter two to a story of meeting Ed Boon back uh, at the MK11 reveal event. I asked for a picture and I was told no, and then I had I had to I had to wonder is it me? Did I do something <laughs> wrong? Well, anyways, this time it went a lot better, and he, he was very nice, um, as were all the devs, Stephanie, Derek, the ones I didn't get to meet at the MK11 reveal event. They were super cool. Um, <clears throat> had a funny moment with Derek where I went up and thanked him towards the end of EVO, and I thanked him for uh, putting or bringing back so many 3D era characters, and then he's he responded by saying, so many, we've only announced one. And then I just smiled and patted him on the shoulder and said, I just have a lot of faith in you guys. And he got a kick out of that. So that's a funny little moment there. Um, Stephanie was super helpful with like Lee May combos and whatnot and just answering any questions I had. Um, but yeah, it was a great time. Got to meet a lot of people. Um, had a Brusque and I put together a, a big like content creator lunch where we got like everybody who saw it joined us like we had everybody from like me brus the island boys true underdog uncaged caboose uh perfect legend which was crazy john tobias's son who's just like the coolest dude um and i told him a lot about like what we do and how a lot of our work is praising you know what his dad had done and he, he enjoyed that um he even took a picture of my shirt and sent it to his dad, which he thought was cool because it was the one I was wearing. Was the, uh, like, Enter the Dragon, but Mortal Kombat. So he got a kick out of that. Um, yeah, it was just a wonderful time with the wonderful people. Um, and meeting all the other creators was super cool. Uh, I've had my own, like, battles with mental health on feeling like... Just, like, struggles, feeling like just... You know, we've been doing this for a long time and we're not nearly as big as a lot of other people, but I've always felt like the quality is there. And to be able to meet the devs and meet the other content creators and not be treated like less than or anything like that was super cool. Everybody was like in person. Everybody was nothing but cool. So, yeah, just uh, when, you know, I'm when like caboose makes a mistake or something give him give him some slack he really is a cool dude in person so can't say enough about all those people um but that aside the game was a lot of fun it definitely felt faster and smoother um <clears throat> lee may was uh still just the most fun to me i played brusque won all my matches no big deal or anything <laughs> 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 uh yeah no but lee may is a lot of fun she's just she's very quick very smooth pretty much everything i'd want in the character so um and frost was super cool um and yeah just the whole experience of evo something i never really was sure i'd go to i'm absolutely gonna go next year and i'm excited to see mortal kombat 1 likely you know take take a, a much bigger presence there for the the tournament next time even the mk11 final tournament top six and all that was just super hype it was super cool seeing like the fujin mirrors and just how close those matches were were a lot of fun and seeing the crowd go crazy um yeah beyond that i mean that's what the beta build is that's what everybody's gonna get their hands on here coming up um 
And yeah, I don't have too much more to add on to the Evo experience other than yeah, unfortunately got like super sick following it and took a COVID test and that's that's what I have. So dealing with that, <clears throat> super fatigued. Um, just it takes like so much energy. Just walking up the stairs tires me the hell out. So I've been taking a lot of naps. Um, uh, beyond that, I do want to get my thoughts out on all the stuff we've seen, just because people are going to be curious what my opinion is. Um, so I'll get that out, and then I'll get out of get out of here while everybody else can more long form discuss things. But uh, so Garrus, I didn't get to do anything for because before going to Evo, I was actually in LA for a week, so I was like super. I'm beyond tired. It was a, over a week and a half that I had been away from home so it was just like go 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 every day like it was like 25 hour car ride followed up by the beach followed up by universal studios then six flags then evo like it was just non-stop so i am beyond tired um garris garris looks great he looks a lot better than he he, he was in mk11 it's nice to see him like part like taken away from chronica and <clears throat> take on more of like Liu Kang's um, aesthetics and whatnot. I think he looks really cool. I thought his trailer was actually pretty hype and pretty exciting. And yeah, it's I. I think this character is only going to rise in people's opinions now that he's been torn away from a lot of that stuff. Um, There's a little weird scene like the hourglass brought up in the trailer, so that may be more of a plot point than we're hoping for. But hopefully. Hopefully it's not like the entire thing and we move away from that. Um, next on the list, Reptile. Reptile, I I did my reaction. Unfortunately, I was like super sick at that time, so I didn't do much of a reaction. Like even the comments were like, this is the tamest reaction video I think I've seen because <laughs> I didn't even know what to say. I was just, I was like sweating. That's how badly I felt at the moment. So I was having a hard time even following the trailer. But Reptile, uh, it's an interesting take. Uh, I don't like. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I just want to see more of it. I'm very intrigued by it, especially him being like a good guy. It seems like I'm very intrigued by that. It seems like he's finally going to get more of a like a focus and more story relevance and all that. So that part I'm really excited by. Um, I don't mind like the transforming. It's unique. It's different. It kind of gives them a way to do like the quote unquote human reptile. Um, also, with I, I just wish like his um, reptile form still had like the ninja outfit on and stuff. I wish it wasn't just a bare naked reptile. So that'd be my only like nitpick on it. Um, but yeah, I mean the the actual idea of it isn't. I don't hate. I think it's interesting. Um, and then next, uh, Havoc. Havoc looked pretty cool. He, uh, to me, looks very much like Havoc, just, you know, different hairstyle and without the, the metal thing on top of his head. But, like, the rest of his outfit seems like it's pretty much a modern version of his classic attire. I still hope he gets just his straight-up classic look for those that want to want more of just, like, the classic Havoc. But otherwise, I thought he looked good. The gameplay looked interesting. It still very much felt like havoc to me i'm very intrigued and curious what he's gonna be in story mode hopefully not just like a villain hopefully his bios makes it seem like he's gonna be more of like a hero but i don't know which side he's fighting for um and then lastly ashra that's obviously you'd think i'd have a lot to say just because <coughs> excuse me the character is one i've uh been asking for for so long i re-listened to my top 10 most wanted wish list for MK11 not too long ago. And she, I think Lee May was my number five, Astro is my number two, and Frost was my number one. I got Frost, and then we're getting Lee May and Astro now. So, like, I'm very excited to see these characters return. Uh, I think Astro looks good. I know there's a lot of um, split opinion on her face and all that, but to me, I like it. I think it definitely makes her come off more unique and interesting um with the like the the scars and the marks and the more demonic look um hopefully she has her hat in like a alternate alternate skin or something but like i love the angelic look that they're giving her uh i think that makes a lot of sense to me like having this demon so visually the parts that she can't control as much ring more as true as like a demon 
she wears it on her face and her chest um, with more of the scars and whatnot. So I like that she can't escape that through her road of trying for redemption and purification. She still has these markings that like she can't hide. But I like that all of the things that she wears are very angelic. You know, her entire outfit looks very angelic and and some of her specials call upon like angel wings and stuff. So I think that's a good contrast um, that that just even says more about this character. So as an Ashra fan and one that wanted her back, I'm very pleased with the way she looks and just I just want to see more. I feel like as cool as these gameplay trailers are um, for like excitement, they still leave you not knowing like what their moves are, what their combos are, what their we have a we've seen barely any alternate attires outside of like that original gameplay reveal one um, where we saw like multiple of Kenshi's. But yeah, I just want to see more, more, more of all of this stuff. The gameplay is phenomenal in this game. Phenomenal in this game. It's so fun to play. So I wouldn't worry about that. And it seems like they added like the MK9 wave dashing and all that um, or the dash blocking, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> but yeah, that's all I really have to say. I, I'm still very excited and my hype meter is still like 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10. I mean, I've gotten like every character I, I could want, be it playable or cameo. So I'm very excited. Just hopefully, hopefully the story's fun. Um, that's all I have to say. I'm tired. Okay, cool. You can rest. Now. That'll do, Cyborg. That'll do. Rest well, yeah. soldier. Yeah, hopefully by the next episode, I'll have more energy and can go go harder. But uh, yeah, I'm curious what everybody else thinks. And uh, hopefully everybody in the community is really excited. And just, uh, yeah, you, you get to be able to play this game in like a week. And the game will be here in like a month. That's it. See you later. Good night, sir. Take care, dude. Take it easy. Take it easy. Rest well. COVID is so who's next? Uh, oh, it's it, it's terrible. It's like I, I had it for a week and I wanted to die. Yeah, uh, it's, it's really fucking bad. Let's let's do this. Let's go down uh, character by character. We'll start with Garrus. Uh, who has an opinion on Garrus? <laughs> um, I like Garrus. Take I it away. Can go. Oh. <laughs> Let's let's start with positivity. Um, let's go with he says he likes Garrus. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of that. Uh I think his design's better, his gameplay looks better, like I love all the grappler shit. Um I like that he's working with Lou now and he's not tied to a shitty fucking character. Uh Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I was just expecting him to look be like pretty much the same or like I kinda wish they went with like the old man beard shit, like in his concept art uh but i think he just overall looks a lot better like i think he's fine now i don't think he's like amazing but i definitely don't think he's like a bad character anymore i'm personally pretty hyped for him yeah. i think uh he does look better uh i don't know i might have chosen a different color scheme i don't know if the bright red pants are working for me i would have gone with black and a <laughs> different color trim or something i don't know i think they're just doing that to like highlight that he's yeah yeah blue. like because he's with yeah. luke kang but like black pants with red stripes or something that's luke yeah kang that would look good i i don't know yeah. i don't know gearus gearus is a character like the problem one of the problems his design had in 11 was that none of his color schemes looked good and so i'm still just trying to because there's so much about Mortal Kombat characters that are like their identity is in the colors they wear. Like the ninjas, even someone like Ashra, you know that for her to look like Ashra, she has to be wearing white with gold, you know? Yeah. So like what, what are mm. Gearus's colors? And I still can't answer that question because we only have him in two games and they keep changing. Some white, a little bit of blue crystal orb stuff on his chest. He's not a uniform color scheme, a little bit of everything all at once. I do kind of like the, the gold tattoos. Like, e every single character in this game has tattoos now, and Gearus is the only one where I actually like the way the tattoos look. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I really like... There's some special moves that I really like that I'm seeing. The one where he, like, conjures a, a fucking hourglass and smashes your face into it. Yeah, that's that's sick. Cool. I think the it's... mirror, the, the the mirror super shit, smashing. Oh, I forgot stuff. about that. I yeah, love that's, that. That's yeah, that's really cool. 
I like that um, when he uh, time stops you, there's like a clock effect that appears on the screen so you can tell how long it's going to last. Like this. Yeah, I was just about to mention that, yeah. Hands of a clock over top of the character. It's really nice. But um, as far as Geras' inclusion goes, I, it's, I'm, there's not a whole lot I can say. Well, um, I think they had to acknowledge him in some way because his whole backstory was that even when the universe reboots, I don't go away. I am permanent and nothing can change me. So, like, he had to still exist. Uh, I am happy to see him actually on Liu Kang's side and not, like, trying to, uh, I don't know, rep you know, his dead creator or something, you know? I think yeah. that, I mean, it's such a relief. It's the one thing I think everyone is universally happy for. Like, myself, I always saw Geras as a really, really great concept. It's just that it was a shame that he had to be tied to, you know, fucking Apple and iPod products. So now that he's out of that, now that he's, you know, free of that, he's kind of proving that he doesn't have to deal with forced obsolescence, which is wonderful. Yeah. No I mean... Apple shit. It's just... He, I think he actually wins my, wins my award for most single most moved NRS creation. From like the dudes we saw from X into eleven, from eleven to this, he is like miles better just by virtue of not being associated with Kronika at all. Well, I think oh. he's, he's the only one that they had from a previous, from a recent previous game where the goal was to make him better. Like, when, when Kotal and Devorah and Cassie and Jackie came over from X to Eleven, it was pretty much just, we already like them, so we're keeping them mostly the same. Or, or in Kotal's case, for some weird reason, we're going to shit on him every opportunity, even though people actually like the guy. Uh, I mean, I think that they, I think they tried to, like, address a lot of the concerns that people had with, like, Jackie and X and, like, uh, their own original moves in Eleven. I guess... Whether or not, whether or not you think that actually worked, it's a different story. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they succeeded time. at all. Because they even, like, they actually gave her more Jack's moves on top of giving him more... On top of giving her more new moves. So it it's still, like, evened out as 50% Jack's, 50% someone else. At the very uh, least, they gave Jackie some good costumes. I love the, the jacket outfit. I blue. think that overall it was an but, improvement. Um, back to Garrus. One thing I also like, uh, I love his fatality, where it's like uh, the Spider-Man 3 Sandman bit. Yeah. yeah. I, I, that one Shaving was so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's a really right. cool idea. But yeah, I don't know. I think... <laughs> For me, like, in, in my perfect ideal world, there would just not be any mention of any character from Eleven except Collector, because Collector is like an outworlder and he fits with the world building. I, I would just never have referenced reboots and time travel at all. I think that a lot of us yeah. were looking for that, for, for for one to be this kind of hard reboot. Like, I wasn't, well, I, I was hoping to not see an hourglass or any mention of it. I, thought we I mean, gonna, the, the I thing is, we start fresh. the thing is, this, this setting inherently has to mention those things, because you can't just pretend Liu Kang didn't create all of these new versions of these characters. You have to acknowledge it. Uh, especially because the, the direct, because when... They took hard reboot to mean we're going to change everything, start over from scratch. My my choice for a hard reboot would have been just go back to the old timeline. Because if if you let nature take its course and you don't interfere, then things should tend towards the familiar. You have to like actively change them. So like Liu Kang chose Reptile to be able to shape shift into a human. Liu Kang chose Li Mei to be so uh, much older and, like, more professional, that she's now, like, the person who trained Kitana and Melina how to fight. Liu Kang chose that Edenia and Outworld are still going to be merged, but the good people are in charge instead of Shao Kahn. Uh, well, we'll see about how much of that turns to be true. I There's a lot of questions that I have about Outworld right now. Too many for this... On many honestly, there's a lot of questions I have about, like, is anybody going to point out that it's kind of shady for Liu Kang to have gone, I don't want Johnny Cage to have powers that can hurt a god because I am a god and I don't want him to turn on me. So I'm going to take away his green shadows. I don't expect that to be acknowledged whatsoever. It's going to be a complete and total just... Yeah, see, that's, that's what they're, always... They're not going to mention it. That's what all. always disappoints me, is when they, they set up these things, the narrative that are like, is anybody going to point out that that's weird? And nobody ever points out that that's weird. 
I wouldn't even look at it as Liu Kang intentionally making a Johnny that can't use God powers. I think that's that's taking it a bridge too far. I I, I think mean, that's exactly just, what's is, going on. There's no other way to interpret why why Liu would take away Johnny's ancestors having superpowers. You know what I think you're doing? I think you're trying to look for a reason that Shao Kahn has dragon skin. No, no, I know, yeah, I know yes, that's our are. look. Johnny, Johnny having different moves is different from we we design we change the way they look because the artist had a wild hair up their ass. It's it's a much bigger and more story driven change because where Johnny's powers come from was such a big part of Johnny's character in the past, and now he just doesn't have superpowers. Period. It stands out. I would actually completely disagree. I don't think that John. Johnny's powers were a trademark of his, but I wouldn't have called them a major part of his character until Nine introduced that all that god killing stuff. <sighs> you, you, and I apparently see Johnny very, very differently. Well, we're getting <laughs> a good really distance do. away from Garrus over here. Um, yeah, we I'm are. Gonna, I'm gonna reel us back real <laughs> quick and say that. Take it away. I, I like I told you, Garrus trailer. Get started. <laughs> I told, Go on. I, I, I was. I would like to talk about the Garrus trailer experience. Okay. So um, I was laughing when I saw it was Garrus. Like, <laughs> look who's back now. And um, as I was watching it, I'm like, you know, this kind of works. And I didn't know why. And my conclusion is, if you ever see a really good band live, and you see them reference one of their bad albums, it's actually kind of sick. And that's what this feels like to me. It's like if you see Iron Maiden and they play Bring Your Daughter to the Slaughter, or if you see Judas Priest and they play Turbo Lover, or if you see Metallica and they play King Nothing. Um, I like King yeah, Nothing. That's what, what the fuck? I know, that's why they played it high. But it's <laughs> a bad <laughs> album. Are, are you going to tell me you want to go uh, Okay, okay, yes, it's a bad I album, but King Nothing is the one good song on that that's album. That's why they oh played my God, King Nothing, Razor. Uncivilized. <laughs> actually, funny you're mentioning this, because last night I actually sat in on Guns N' Roses in my city. Uh, me, and a couple, me and a couple friends went. We didn't feel like like paying 150 bucks for tickets or whatever, so we just like kind of sat around the area and listened. The quality was really good, and they played a couple Chinese democracy songs. It was pretty damn fun. Oh, dude, that's sick. That's the way it should be. You shouldn't ignore albums that aren't popular, in my opinion. And that's what Garris feels like to me. Um, he feels like King Nothing, <laughs> and that's again. Look <laughs> in the eyes and tell me reloads a good album. Look me in the eyes. Look, I say will, it twice, one for each eye. I, by virtue <laughs> of comparison, I will tell you that both Load and Reload are good albums. Well, because look, I've listened, I've listened to Sane Anger, and I listened to 72 Seasons. Sure, I know sure, what phoning yeah. in is. Look, uh, well, Reload is a better album than the albums that came after it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, I mean, obviously. Okay. Back to Gears. But, um, yeah, I, I think this works. I think if you put a character like this on this kind of roster... It pops in a good way. That's he works well in the mix. So, and I do think he overall looks way better in my opinion. So, yeah, I, I, I will eat my shoes. I think Garrus looks good, and I'm sorry about all the shit I talked when the leak list came out. Nice, very nice. Yeah, I agree. We're all happy with Garrus. I mean, as happy uh, as uh, you could be. <laughs> yeah. I don't I'll think take, I'll ever. I really prefer that trailer. To, I will uh, never a hundred percent approve of Gears existing, but this is the best he could possibly look. I, I suppose. <laughs> well, he's got he's got Darius in that trailer as an assist. I wanna yeah. I wanna talk about that. Um, yes, it's Darius time, Darius I think man. It's, it. I think it's interesting that they gave him no like. It seems that his whole gimmick is that he interacts with your character. Yeah, like he ev every. Anything to Every Special. move that Darius Cameo has appears to be a tag team attack. Except yeah. he does have he does have his uh his spinny blue kick. Well, he doesn't do it the same way. He doesn't do it like the No, ice they they skating. animated it like he actually moves his body to do a spin kick instead of like just standing still and spinning that stolen Cyrax. Yeah, that was nobody liked that move. So the fact that yeah. he now does like a proper tatsu is uh it looks way better. And the, uh, I'm, I'm surprised. Movement. I'm surprised that they even kept the blue trailings on his feet. Yeah, I'm, I like that. It, it looks really, really nice. Yes. But um, it is just a little bit disappointing that uh, all of his, like his fatal blow animation and his uh, his forward throw, he doesn't do anything that unique to him. Like, I, I can mean, enjoy these moves. I'm okay with that, because his other That's moves not sucked. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's they not do. Fault. Like, they he do. Didn't have, he didn't have anything to work with. The only other option I can, the only other option I can remember is, like, him 
doing his weird spinning pirouette fireball out of the back of his hand. Yeah, nobody wants that fireball. That fireball has no flavor to yeah. it. It doesn't like yeah, speak like... to the character. There is a reason that in our patron cast redesign of Darius, we scrapped all of his moves and gave him completely new ones. Yeah. So yeah, like he's got I, nothing yeah. to work with. I kind of like it because it reminds me of like an MK4 auto combo. He does like two punches into the knee and then yeah. he does Jax's MK4 throw. So I think that's kind of like a callback to that for some reason, but that's what no, it reminded like, me of. It's, it's it's the stomp on the knee. It's the Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do like the stomp on the knee. It's really cool. Yeah. All right. So, it, it, oh, is I, it, uh, I, uh, for speaking of him being like a tag team character, it's fitting that it's Gears like swinging him around and shit because it'd look really weird if Rain is doing it. Yeah, <laughs> I look forward to that. It's gonna be oh boy, I wonder. I wonder where Rain's staff goes when he uses both hands to do something. Oh yeah, it probably just, just floats dissipates. in space next to him. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't have a problem with that. So that brings us to Reptile, I suppose. I was just going to mention one thing, that the Living Forest at night is a really fucking sick... Like, the, the wind, I love that shit so much. Oh, yeah. The, we've we've that actually now, now seen stage. there are three versions, three versions of, the, of it of the Living yeah. Forest. Yeah. Yep. There's day, There's like night... There's, peaceful night, and whatever the hell is happening with a lot of green fire and shit. Well, we'll, we'll get into Aeos that. Chaos Forest or something. The, we'll um, get into that, yes. But yeah, the, the first character shown in that trailer is Reptile, so, uh... Who feels most strongly about Reptile? Who wants to go first? Well, I have thoughts, and I'm not sure if I can put them into order. I'm trying for, like, uh, three days, but I'll try. Go ahead. I, uh... Okay, oh, I'd yeah, say maybe ahead. Tim. <laughs> I well, don't know. I, I was really excited for Reptile going into this game. Uh, he, he was one of the ones I really wanted back. So, I... Uh, so does that mean you're going first? Or am I, am I going game? first? All right, let's I don't go. know. Uh, you started I, talking. Don't stop now. <laughs> I'm going first. Fuck it. So, uh, um, fuck, dude. Uh, uh, his. <laughs> I'm struggling to like really put a positive spin on this. I'm not a fan of him just switching back between human and Godzilla form. So let me let me uh You're not alone in that. Let me let me I'm say something either. real quick because uh I have seen uh reactions across you know the internet are very positive in general to the idea of reptile having two forms because it's like everybody wins. It's the best of both worlds. People who like human reptile get human reptile. People who like lizard reptile get lizard reptile. And my stance on that is uh to some extent, I can see that, and certainly I've never had a problem with Reptile having the magical ability to shapeshift between the two, because I've seen it before. It's it's how Threshold Reptile worked, particularly in the Conquest TV show. But um, my, my issue with it is mainly that his lizard form looks like the 2021 movie, and nobody likes that Reptile. It... If, if his lizard form had been the Shaolin Monk's design, you know, still a humanoid body and wearing clothes, I think everybody would be as, about as happy as you could be. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I, I would really like that. It's that, and it's like the weird qualities of the morph, how it's like this magic ring that descends and ascends. Like, it would have looked better there's... if, like, in Threshold, he had been morphing. He, he, looks, he looks fine in the actual cinematic trailer itself, but in terms of gameplay, especially in stills, it looks... Very bizarre. I th I think There's... that's what they wanted. They wanted to have like a thing, so like when he does his force ball, only half of him is lizard. They think that looks cool. Were they right? I say that I. Agree. I don't know. Some people Look. seem to like it. Look, I mean, there's a this... move where his back, uh, his back loincloth transforms into the tail. Yeah. While he's... Form. I can I can understand why if you're going with a form that has a tail you would do that and it's like, oh he can do sweeps with the tail and just, I don't <sighs> there's a reason that Deadly Alliance was the least popular reptile. Look, I feel like if you don't like human re reptile lizard merging rep, I feel like you really can't blame NRS for this because. 
they are capitulating to something that a subset of fans have wanted since Deadly Alliance. Yeah, I get it. Before, but before Deadly Alliance, there was no human reptile. There was a reptile in a skin outfit. It was always a guy running around in disguise. And, you know, I actually, I have never blamed them. I've always been 100% behind, like, the outfits like Shaolin Monks and Nine, where it's just a lizard running around, because... You have to have a decent reason to be blending in, and to be very fair, even going back to the original John Tobias comic, as soon as they get onto that island and Sonya's taken captive, let the tournament begin! It's a guy with four arms. There's no need to pretend to be The thing human. is, Reptile wasn't pretending to be human to, to blend in for, so that people wouldn't know the supernatural exists. Reptile was trying to blend in and pretend to be human so people wouldn't suspect that he was Shang's bodyguard. He wanted people to mistake him for another competitor and not know that he's going to come out of nowhere and stop you if you make a run at Shang. Well, I don't know. There's there's some jumps there. There's some acceptable it's, bit of... I, I, I always I, I saw it as a lot of that. It is a stage of Reptile's invisibility, is how I always I saw it. Like, he, if he wants to be not seen at all, he turns completely invisible. If he wants to be around but have people not suspect him, then he pretends to be a human. I would call the scenario described a lot of conjecture. But my point is that I just, I understand why there hasn't been a reptile that looks like a normal human dude for, like, the better part of two decades now. And, you know, I suppose I can understand the people that want that back. As it stands, I think his his normal outfit, when he's in isolation in this game, with his mask on, in human form, I think it's one of the best outfits he's ever had. He's easily the best looking ninja oh, the, out of the all costume, of them in this game. At least, yeah, when, at least when the mask is yeah. on, the costume looks great. Yeah, I think this yeah, is one of his best I, ninja yeah, outfits, yeah. yeah. I especially really shit. love... I really love the shoulder pads. I think that they look really fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, those those like the outfit looks good. I don't really when the when the mask is off, I don't go for the like the the pretty boy Tom Holland face or the tattoos yeah, at all. Yeah, like mm -hmm. the guy's got a face made for memes. I've seen him compared to Tom Holland, to Mark Zuckerberg. The truth is just seeing reptile casually talking be kind of social is kind of really yeah really the other like weird. it is it is a different universe it's a completely different size off so i you yeah. know it's like it's almost cyborg would say probably that we shouldn't be comparing uh characters to their past timeline selves because they they're they're different people on purpose that's the point of a reboot and we all wanted a fresh start but i still like it's not reptile to me if he doesn't hiss his s's when he talks that's just how it is. Well, it's a completely different personality. Like, yeah. I, there's nothing left of him. Like, that's the other thing. Like, a, at least, it's a, still lot a, of, a lot of totally. people are really happy to see Reptile finally get to be on the good guy's side and presumably have his own chapter or section of the story and do things that are important and not just be a jobber. And I totally get that, and I can absolutely see where that's coming from, but... I wanted that to happen for the old reptile. Yes, I wanted exactly. to start with a guy who had been shit on and disrespected, and see him earn that. When you do and it with a completely, that was Kotal Khan. when you do it like just introducing a new reptile and he's a an important person from the start, it's not the same. Like it's um, it's cool and all, but it's I. You know, I just, I miss that we don't have the opportunity to see Old Reptile earn a chapter. Yeah, and be, I, I'm you gonna know, miss that guy. Pick himself up off the ground and get some self-respect and develop and change from where he was to where he is now. One thing I don't like... Oh, What's that? My bad. No, go ahead. I was just gonna say that I don't like how everyone in this game seems like they're oppressed and, like, fucking cast out, and that's, like, the entire, like, there's a character. lot of that. They, they're just doing that for every character now. It's fucking boring. I I'll more to say on that later for sure. I'll yeah, you can go ahead. On that. That. <laughs> well, for, for a different character, of course, but uh, oh, okay. I agree. That's a big, big problem. His yeah. background really implies the same kind of circumstances that that the original Reptile grew up in, but I have a lot of questions about that. Like, well, is Shao Kahn still merging realms? How are there still, like, Zaterans in Edenia? Well, actually, like, um, I do, I do does have he have a bio, bio yet? Or out he has a bio? Yeah, I have it up here right now. now. Uh, you mind if I read it? Okay. Okay. 
uh, reptile. As a boy, Tom Holland was bitten by a radioactive <laughs> lizard. <laughs> Sorry, God go on. Uh, reptile is a Terran, one of the rept reptiloid races which lives in Outworld's fringes. Uh, like other reptiles, Zaterans can camouflage themselves, but Reptile p possesses a unique mutation, one which allows him to shapeshift into, uh, uh, to appear human. Uh, bullied mercilessly by the Zaterans for this ability, Reptile left home to make his future elsewhere. So I have a question to start with. Uh, we've already seen that Chameleon is a story cameo, so like, have her presence so is canon? Questions. So does she just is she also an outcast with the same ability or is she a regular Zaterran because her skin is gray? Like what's the difference? <laughs> There's just too many questions. Like when we get our information on what the hell exactly is up with Shao Kahn, which is someone we know Liu Kang's fucked with the destiny of, we'll have hopefully the answer to a lot of things. Well, the other thing is we for now, saw for now I'm, I'm just I'm putting reptile in like the same basket as like Yang Scorpion. It's such a drastic, weird change, and there's so much context I need. I can't. Well, there's something. There's I something I want to point out, and it's that uh, we've seen the Lost Tomb stage from Deadly Alliances coming back. We That's have. the stage with Onaga's uh, coffin and a giant Shinox amulet-shaped portal, hang, you know, hanging on the back wall where all the the mummies are stored. The Onaga's undead army. So that. That suggests that Liu Kang did not change Shinnok at all. Like, he still turned on the Elder Gods, made an amulet, attacked Earthrealm, was banished to the Nether Realm. Because if none of that stuff happened, that giant amulet should not be on that back wall. And that would kind of explain, at least, why does Outworld still have Zaterans? Because the raptors were originally uh, descendants of Earthrealm's dinosaurs. They evolved into a more humanoid form, but they were chased off of Earth to the realm of Zaterra when Shinnok attacked. Well, that would explain why they went to Zaterra, but that wouldn't explain why Zaterra is now a part of Outworld. Well, appar the, apparently that, Sindel conquers question. realms? I don't want... Uh, let's... Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to. We will see. We'll we'll find that out. Maybe Onaga did it. I don't know. A wizard Our... did it. It was rain. <laughs> Ashra next. Yes. Well, no, I, I was oh. gonna jump oh. in on. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was actually gonna suggest we might want to like establish like a, an alphabetical order because uh, there's there's too many of us. There's too many to to organize for. Um, there are literally dozens for... of us. Yeah. yeah so um. Well, I'll just say real quick, I had no real horse in the human reptile race. Uh, I, all I want is a green ninja. I will take either if it looks good. And I, I'll, I'll try to avoid repeating what everyone else has said, because I mostly agree. I like the ninja costume. It's the best costu ninja costume in the game. Um, I really don't like his reptile form. As Eris said, he looks like a battle toad. I don't like it. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, just, uh, it's really jarring when you watch it in gameplay because uh, things that used to look, look sick do not look sick anymore when he throws his tongue out does not look sick anymore when he throws an acid ball he's a big giant asshole throwing an acid ball it's not cool anymore oh, it's, he, it's, he, he like it's, burps it out it's weird like yeah, I wish he had he, I wish yeah. he did the reverse clap yeah, they, like, they, they wanted him to have, like, a an expanding frog throat since the concept art of X, and they just waited until now to finally do it, and it was never a good idea. They should have scrapped it way back, and now they're like, no, we're doing the big throat. I no one to can have, stop I wanted, us. I wanted him to have, like, an expanding frog throat, like, fatality, but I would not make that part of his move list. I, I also really don't like that they gave him more stuff for a character who already had a huge arsenal of stuff. I think I've joked about keeping Reptile a gun, but that would have been better because <laughs> I would have expanded <laughs> upon his invisibility. Let him do more cool invisible stuff. Um, don't make him turn into a giant asshole. Uh, and yeah, especially if it, since it doesn't look great. If, it, if the Reptilian form looked better, I'd be a lot more receptive. And I'll be honest, I will still play him. Um, but there's two more real big problems I have with it. One is he acts like this sort of, like, aristocrat in his personality. He seems and a lot like, like Rain to me. Well, he's bit. more like Regal. He's more like, he's almost like, 
When people are like relentlessly bullied, they don't turn into these suave gentlemen. They just don't. <laughs> so <laughs> he feels really smarmy. I, to me, right now, he looks like he came off the front cover of a romance novel at Walmart. That's what he looks like to me right now. And I don't hate that, but you got to explain it. And again, it just completely swaps out with what we have. Yeah, see, this is this is what I'm at. saying about the, the Tom Holland face and the fact that he doesn't hiss in his voice anymore. Like, it, it, it does lend to that feel of, like, this is, this is like some pretty boy. He, but he's supposed to be, like, someone who was thrown out of his of his species and lives on the streets like he's a homeless person he should be more uh, dirty and uh i don't know introverted or something he should well you can have an like... empath come out of that but you got to explain the circumstances there has to be like a mentor figure or there has to be someone to take him in yeah or... like if he's if he's if he was kicked out by the terrans but oh katana and melina were so nice to me and they let me into their kingdom and i've had a good time since then that would explain some of it Maybe that is well, what happened. We, we did, like we, there's only so original, much you can see in a trailer. It's like they wanted to keep his original background of like being trod upon and shit upon, but they just wanted to have a different character come out of it. Ugh. And yeah, so... What's up? Yeah. No, I just... I, I, I would have preferred if he acted more like Familiar Reptile and then, you know, stood on his it's... own two feet and started, you know, doing things and being a, a better character. What well, unfortunately, the, the worst part about Reptile for me, and uh, this is not going to surprise anyone, but it makes me kind of sad, is that when I look at Reptile's fatality, I'm just thinking to myself, I can't play ranked in this game. Like, if I have to see this shit multiple times a night, I just can't play ranked. I don't want to see these fatalities. This is gross. This is really hard, for me at least, it's really hard to watch that fatality. So it's just like, this is going to be a Discord game for me. I don't see anything wrong with that. Playing with randos sucks anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always play. But I want to get master rank. Frankly, we have so many people in the Discord now. I think we have too right. many people in the Discord. <laughs> okay. It's getting Next crowded up. in there. Ashra. Before we, actually, before we move on to Ashra, because I know some of us have stuff to say, I want to talk a little bit about a certain cameo that we see. I want to talk about Serena. I was going to save it for her. when we get to Havoc, because that's sure. when she shows up. Because I feel like she's not going to... I feel like we should just devote a bit to her now. Okay, I'm because fine with it now. I, mean, I agree. Havoc, once we start talking about Havoc, we're not going to stop. Okay. At all. All right, so I am obviously really, really happy to see Serena. Uh, and particularly, you know, we've been doing this show for almost nine years, and the entire time, since, like, the first episode, I've been like, when they bring Serena back, she should shapeshift into a demon in her moves, because that's what she does in the story. They finally did it. I, I'm, I'm pleased, alright? There is something in this game that is genuinely for me. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm glad that this game is setting up this precedent now. I'm, I'm glad this is what's going to happen going forward with Serena in these games. I like but, it. But, um, yeah, but I, I was actually very shocked to see that. I didn't expect it to do that. I, I was so afraid that Serena was going to be, like, throwing knives woman. Well, it also, I, I think I saw a throwing knife in there, and she's got, like, she's holding her she sickles. sickles, yeah. Um, yeah, the noob sickles in 11. So she she's also sickle. has, I noticed, a move where she makes, like, some kind of uh, status effect rune on the ground. So I'm, I'm curious what that does. It, it's nice to see, like, she has such a wide variety of things, because traditionally she's been an afterthought uh, in terms of like coming up with special moves because like in mythology she was all just sickle mm -hmm. attacks and in uh, Armageddon she had mostly weapon stuff and then some punches and kicks also Man, smoke man she had uh, sickles in mythologies didn't she yeah yes. she, she did. did yeah yeah, yeah. Yep, okay. I am 100 percent behind her coming back and having those sickles again because that feels really good to me that feels like OG Serena yeah, I was. I thought that was. Tight. I agree. Yeah. The, the other thing is, uh, she clearly has a new outfit, which means she's probably in story, like Goro. Oh, I think I, I feel like she's not just in story. I feel like so much work has been done on that. Like, there's something about her specifically. I think the textures and whatnot that really makes me feel that in advance she is part of DLC Pack Two. 
I could definitely see her ending up as a DLC character. There's there's clearly been a lot of work put into there. I have some worries uh, really? that. I well, go on down for. I was just going to say that uh, 16-Bit said that if they do come back as DLC, they'll be redesigned pretty heavily from the cameo version. So I, I, I hope that yeah, doesn't but apply I, to I think Serena, that was but... a general statement because so yeah. many of the cameos are wearing an MK1 through 3 outfit. Yeah. I don't know that that applies to Goro and Serena, the ones from story mode. My only concern is that if Ashra is unambiguously good... Then I'm afraid they're going to do the switch to Serena, and Serena's going to go to Ashra and be like, "I can't let you do that, Fox." That's my only real worry about Serena. Well, is I don't there's another thing I wanted change. to point out uh, relative to Ashra and Serena is that Quan Chi is actually in that trailer. Uh, when you see Reptile uh, talking to the group, and, and all the heroes are wearing these like disguise outfits for this parade that's happening in Outworld. Um, there's a knocked out Quan Chi wearing a disguise too, sitting on the ground. And there's a spot in the Ashra trailer where someone off screen is shooting a green skull at her and she hits it with her sword. So I think Quan Chi is involved with, uh, whatever they're doing with Havoc setting the living forest and on fire and all that stuff. The cut was in story and then it cuts to like a gameplay intro. So yeah, yeah it was probably Quan. I That's caught what a I green thought. That was a hundred percent him. I didn't see him on the ground though. I gotta go look back at that. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah, to you can see his tattoos. Like, and I've, and I've seen people like catch screenshots of it and put it up on Reddit and stuff like that. That's how I know it's in there. I, I'm looking at it right now. The time code is two minutes and eleven seconds. You can clearly see his arms, and the, the, the spikes on his outfit are sticking out of his disguise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at it now. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Somebody Quan's has like knocked Quan Chi's ass out, and then they're having a conversation around his. I guess I guess they're gonna make him a jobber like an MKX again. <laughs> I want. Well, it's a very Fire God Liu Kang thing to do is to bring him back and make him really stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know the circumstances wherein Quan Chi felt the need to disguise himself in these ridiculous outfits. Um. I have a, a thought about Serena. So I, I said earlier that I really, really like that they finally did the transforming into into a demon for her moves. I'm not the biggest fan of the design itself. I of, actually kind of like form. it. I would have put clothes I, on it, same as with Reptile, but... I think it's okay. I like it's it overall. Just, temp, she, temp? Looks, she, she looks like she uh. forgot her pitchfork at home. Temp, say the thing. Because I mean, I don't know if I would have given I, her the generic devil uh. tail. And the, he, I would yeah, not have given her the, the bald. tail and the horns and the baldness. Yeah, I think like if I was to do like a, you know, a redesign, some kind of fan art, what 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 her demon form would look like in my ideal universe, she would have clothes and hair and no tail. But the the for the most part, the design it definitely appeals to me. I think that's I think that's pretty good. Because what what is I mean, the alternative? Yeah. You use like the the oni designs from X and Eleven where they have no eyes and there's a plate of bone over their face. No. I much prefer this. Temp, I believe yesterday you said that she looked like she was something out of a Rob Zombie video. Oh, yeah! Like, I did say that, yeah. yeah. I, I see like, it. She kind of... The specific, <laughs> specific Beavis and Butthead movie part where, like, Beavis is tripping on acid and everything. Yeah, she looks like she could be in a white zombie video. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought I would describe her design in demon form as hot atrocitus. <laughs> Atrocitus. Atrocitus. I mean, it isn't the first thing that I would have chosen, but I don't think it's terrible. It's, it's a decent form. Though. It just feels a little too cartoonish for me. Cartoon I, I, is the word for it, yeah. I, I, I really wish the tail and the horns were... Like, the horns by themselves I could be fine with, but it's in conjunction with the tail that bothers me. It, it's way too... to Halloween costume-y. I, I get it, but I think it's a nitpick. You know what, actually, this this does well to dovetail into the, the Ashra portion of this, because I was going to bring this up. There's a lot of, like, very traditional angel and devil imagery we're yeah. seeing here between the two uh -huh. of them. This is very an Anglicanized version of heaven and hell and ascension. I'm, I'm okay descent. with that for the hell stuff, but... Uh... Okay, are we getting into Ashra? Are we starting on Ashra here? Well, I was going to say, when we get into Ashra, get into we should Ashra. probably establish some sort of order, so whoever goes first, we just go down the line on the host voice station. Okay, so um, who has not uh, spoken on Serena yet? Uh, I haven't, I don't think. Okay, go ahead. Do it to it. 
I was just gonna say, I think the the devil design is like based off some dude's concept art, and they just fucking stole it. <laughs> it's like almost one to one, but uh, she's bald now. They like literally just didn't put the hair. On. I hate that uh, about the design. I agree with Smoke Man. That's just a bit too generic, fucking devilish. Um, and I personally would have saved the demonic form for if she was playable. I don't know if it really needed to be like in the cameo version since it's such a tiny aspect. But because well, I personally would would have preferred just the human form as the cameo, but um, I I don't yeah. like any of her old moves enough to want to see a cameo made entirely out of old moves. I could see that. I mean, I mean you only like, get like three specials. She had, like, like the knife the spam, only thing like, she's ever mythologies. the only thing she's ever done in a previous game that I would bring back is maybe one thing with the sickles and her five star kick. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say the kick. But cameos have at least three moves. Frost actually has four. Uh, I wonder if that's yeah. going to become a standard before the game launches that everybody will have four and Frost is just the first one we've seen it or if it's just special to her. Uh, but they have three moves, a throw, a, a super, and a fatality. That's a, a lot of space to try to fill for Serena, a character who has never had a single fatality before, has never had a super before, and all of her previous moves suck except the five-star kick. Yeah, I suppose. I, I Mostly just because I don't like the fucking... I don't like the look of the devil form, so... I'm yeah, biased. I'm actually not using that cameo because I do not like Same. it. I mean, we can yeah. call it nitpick, but it, it ruins the cameo for me. It's like, if I, if I don't see Serena on the screen... There's no point. That's that's Even, fine. I mean, that's... Serena is the only cameo I will use now. It's it's decided. <laughs> I cannot choose anybody else. <laughs> Tim, that's the exact reason I'm not using Reptile. I can't stand not being able to see like that's my fair. main character on the screen. I hate the fucking switching. Yeah. So that was like double that for Serena. It would just look so much better if there was no portal shit going on. But let's continue. Well, did y'all want to do Asher? Were there any final thoughts on Serena? Yeah, did, if if everybody's spoken on Serena, then we can start with Asha. I would actually. I'll start with Asha because I, 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 I have nothing to say on her. Okay. Actually, I think I think do... like, yeah, generally speaking, I'm pretty damn happy with her. I think she looks pretty amazing. I like the transformation. Devil form is a bit cartoonish, but it's good to see her, and I'm happy, really fucking happy that Razor seems to like her so much. We've seen her classic outfit. We've seen like a, a new outfit. I think they both look pretty damn good. For Serena? Yeah. I didn't yeah. see a classic outfit. Yeah, I only yeah. saw her, like, primary. There's been two, I think. I think we've seen No, both. I only saw the one. I mean, I'm 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 waiting for a classic outfit. That's the thing. Like, I don't have any problems with her new costume. I just generally prefer the art style of the older games. So I, I would... Swear I'm, I'm really waiting for that Mythologies retro. All right, well, let's continue for the time being. Because cause every, sure every shot right. of her I saw uh, of her human form, when people catch a screenshot of it, you can see that she has, like, the more MKX-style face tattoos, and she's got, like, a, a slightly receded hairline and bumps on her forehead where the horns grow in her demon form. And uh, I'm not I'm not so seeing. much into those details, so I'm really waiting for, like, I hope, I hope they do a mythology skin, and I hope they get the tattoos right on it, because they are on different parts of her face, you know, like... It used to be the tattoos looked like the Brotherhood logo. There was a reason for those tattoos. <laughs> so the fact that they, they changed him in X in this game, I don't know. It's, it's just missing something for me. That's a nitpick. That is definitely a nitpick. I'm just saying that I, I'm fine with what we've got, but I'm really hoping for a mythology skin. Anyway... Ashra? Well, I'll have to go back and rewatch the entire video. D4 wanted to go swear. first. Yeah, you go. Go on. Oh, I was for Ashra. Uh, I wish she had the hat. I don't. I I was never a huge fan of Ashra, so this still does nothing for me. I don't. I don't really care about how she looks. I don't really like her look. I don't like. I don't like the Devora face. I don't. She does I don't know. Nothing about this character does nothing. She does so have had... hat in cutscenes. It's there. She has. Yeah, she has the hat. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She has the hat in the scene where they're all wearing parade disguises. That's different from having it in a I, real costume. I feel like this is this is like bitching about Smoke's mask. There's going to be an option. I I, I, I don't know. If there, I can't put it, put any stock in in, in that option because I don't know if I want to play as Ashra with this disguise on. If that's even an option. Yeah, the disguises can... are all in these like tribal colors, greens and reds and stuff. It, it clashes yeah, with the rest of her outfit. Stupid. Yeah. 
it's going to be there, man. Have a I mean, faith. Even then, like, it it doesn't fit with the re- with her actual costume. He's I, saying I that there will be an alternate costume that has a more traditional look. Yeah. I saw a thing that said that she might not at all because her idol stance has her sword above her head and it would clip through. I we'll think they could see. figure out a position for the hat where that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. I mean, they wanted to do stuff with Khan's face in Eleven and they fa- they couldn't, but they still tried to make it a halfway measure. I think they're going to work something out. Uh it might be a small I mean, hat, which... That's what I was thinking. I, I just can't put any stock in it because Ermac had... The only costume that Ermac had in X that covered his face was UMK3. Th- th- there was no alternate costume with the mummy wraps that saved me, you know what I mean? And it was an, and it was an option, and it's the only one that I ever used, and I was happy. I could personally just give less of a shit if 75% of the costumes suck ass. I have one thing that works for me, the other thing's not worth complaining about. Okay, so Chad, do you want to go, or who, who knows? Um, I, 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 I wanted to say some things, because I also have her bio up here if you want me to read well, that. Then we'll go up, then. We'll go up order. So I'll be after you, Smoke Man. Okay. Sorry, uh, so, uh, her bio reads, As a demon, all Asher knew was pain and violence. She assumed all beings in all realms lived as she did. But once she journeyed outside of the nether realm, she realized her error. Other realms were places of beauty and peace, and she could not aid in their de- in their defilement. Ashra fled from her sister demons. Along along the way, she found fa- she found an enchanted she found an enchanted Chris. It was a demon slayer, which she used to finish her pursuers. She was stunned to discover that using the Chris to destroy evil was purifying her soul. And that if she continued to do so, she could free herself from the nether realm. Ashra senses that her final absolution is near. Once achieved, she will finally enter the light. That's actually ninety percent accurate to what's in Deception. Mm-hmm. I, I think I, I think she has the least changed backstory I've seen. Ashra feels like, for me, a completely improved character. It's basically the same original bio, and she lost all the stupid Kung Lao spitty like washing machine move shit whatever the hell we're calling those things in deception her gameplay seems to revolve entirely around her sword now i actually find that out of all the characters that we've seen like her Giris, havoc and uh tom reptile she's the one i'm most looking forward to interestingly i didn't th- i did not think that that would actually be the case i really feel like they kept the core of a character intact and Yes, people are talking about the Devorah face being a thing. It is a little bit weird, but I th- I do think that what they're going for is the face of someone who's like slowly losing their demonic qualities, and it's reflected in their body. That their body is actually slowly shape shifting into that of a human, and I dig it. I can I can see that, but I I, I sort of think it's weird to give her all black eyes when no demon in the other games has all black eyes. Like, if Serena had all black eyes, then I'd be like, okay, sure. I get it. They're both the same species, so Uh, this is, you know. She does? No. Are you sure? I'm looking at it right now. In her demon form or her human form? I'm looking at her in her human form, and I see black eyes. On Serena? Yes. Show me a screenshot. Post one in the Discord. That's Shadow, man. I can't see her eyes. <laughs> I, I I have it zoomed all the way in on her face on my screen. I mean, this is, maybe, I but mean, with the lighting, that's basically like... Baraka doesn't have all black eyes, but in some of his 11 wind poses, they looked it. I feel like I've seen other pictures of her with eyes. I, in this picture, I agree, Smoke Man. There's no eyes there, but I can't tell if yeah, that's I have, just... I have seen other not. shots of Serena where you can make out whites in her eyes. Hmm... Uh, It'd be funny if the lighting gets better and Havoc actually does have an arm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um... Do you want to talk about the angel wing stuff? So I think it's... I don't think it fits Mortal Kombat. I think classic Judeo-Christian angels 
shouldn't well, be here. So, I know. I was having the exact same thoughts once I initially saw her, too. But we've had, like, allusions to the fact that, you know, under, for example, original Raiden, you know, all forms of belief were valid. That he was the god of thunder in many different religions. And, yeah, it is weird to think that maybe there is, like, an angle that implies that maybe, you know, there's something to all the biblical imagery, New and Old Testament stuff. I don't think it's 100% out of place. I know it's a bit jarring, but if there's one character that I can see it actually really working for, it is Ashra. I'm against it. So here's here's my opinion, because I really only have two things to say about Ashra. Um, the first is that, so I'm not I'm not traditionally a big fan of Ashra, like I didn't like her that much in Deception. But the one thing I did like about her was that she looked like a Japanese priestess. So the fact that mm. she, her design now is completely Western, except for like her Asian looking facial features does not do it for me like i'm 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 i think it's cool like i like the the fatality where sh she makes the glowing angel wings out of light but the fact that her outfit is entirely like these these uh straps of angel wing designs and that she doesn't look like a that she doesn't dress in like asian looking clothing like a like a miko priestess or whatever um that does not appeal to me that's not the direction I would have hoped for for the character. Uh, I understand why they went that way. And I also understand, like, oh, like 90% of these characters, especially in this game. Like, Liu Kang's universe is almost all Asian stuff. So I totally get why uh, they would want some variety. It's just that as someone, as someone who really only liked one little thing about Ashra and that thing is gone, meh. Like, Asher's clearly not the character for me. Maybe she never was. Uh, and the second thing I have to say is I understand and appreciate why all her moves are sword moves now. And I think it's way too early early to judge her moveset because as we've seen with, like, Lee Mei, these trailers show you very little of their full movesets and she probably has all kinds of stuff. But in the trailer, the only moves we see her doing are, like, zip zap dashing back and forward with the sword and there's no variety to her move set there so she looks kind of boring to me i would have liked to see a, a projectile I, I wouldn't mind if the spinning came back at this point oh i would just, just forget the spinning just fuck that that's kung lao's territory the forward one looked stupid i just i if we forget all the deception moves except for maybe the projectile which i love back I'm happy. So here, I don't care. Here's what I would have suggested, and we've already done a, a patron cast redesign video on this character. Um, and in that in that video, we suggested she could have more stuff to do with the voodoo doll that she used in one of her deception fatalities. She could have more stuff where she like sets you on fire because she has one fatality where uh, she burns you, and the fire is blue, like spiritual fire. Um, I would have liked to see more stuff like that. And you can have that stuff come from the sword or incorporate the sword in some way, but just if all she does is strikes, then she's basically Kenshi without all the cool extra stuff Kenshi does. I guess I'll jump in over here. Um, I probably have the hottest take on Ashra. Um, as far I will say she probably has my favorite fatality in the game. I can't think of another fatality that I like more than hers. Because uh, it's, it's quick... It's conceptually very to the point. She stabs you, then she burns you, and then you're dead. That's really good. That that really honestly should be every fatality. Yeah, it's it's snappy. Yes. I like it. I like it. Yes, it's not like Reptile Ray eats you and then changes his mind. I, this is much much <laughs> better. Um, there, there's the controversy around the face. All I can really say is that I've never been a fan of the monster characters, and they gave her a very very demonic looking face, and that's just never been my cup. You know, um, I will say, um, I don't have any problems with the face. In fact, I've always thought it was weird that Ashra's backstory is she's one of Quan Chi's assassin women, but she's the only one who has no tattoos on her face. So the fact that she now has markings on her face actually appeals to me, and that's something I've... Like, if I was going to take anything from this game's design and incorporate it into, you know, go back and redo what we did in the patron cast, the only thing I would take is put some markings on her forehead like this. 
Well, as far as like the story, that might work well, but it's very hard to make a character look good without eyebrows. That's well, just for me. That's the I nature of this. I character. wouldn't take away the eyebrows. I just add tattoos. Yeah, no, that's and fair. also yeah, like no. most of the time you wouldn't see them because in in all the costumes I'd give her, she'd be wearing the hat. <laughs> As a boy, I liked Marilyn Manson a lot, and to me, not having eyebrows was the epitome of cool. So I have no problems here. None whatsoever. It's just, I don't know, like, for me, when Blanca was revealed in September, I went on this crusade because I could not stand what he what they did to his face. Um, I can't decide if this is better or worse, but it's something I'm going to have to see in the match. And even if there's a good reason for it, even if it is consistent with her lore... It is nonetheless visually in contradiction with what she used to look like. And I, I realized that if we were talking about like body form or if we were talking about like measurements, I'd be like, yeah, I understand why they would change that. But, but we're talking about a face here. So it's very, it's hard for me to give them a pass if I'm not even going to give a pass to Smoke for his mask. If Smoke's mask doesn't get a pass, it's hard for me to really be like, oh, I, I can live with this. No, I may still play her. She might be super fun, but. I gotta call it like it is, and I just it, it the face doesn't look good to me. I I don't like Baraka. I don't like Meat. I don't like Devora. I don't like the monster characters, and that element is just very prominent up in the forefront of her design. So, now if other people like it, that's cool. But this is this is just me though. It, it's not my jam. Did you just say you didn't like Meat? Meat is bald. I do not like Meat. <laughs> <laughs> but you play reptile all the time. We can't be friends now. <laughs> well, there's monster and there's lizard. Reptiles. Oh, more, dude, that's lizard. different. Okay, it's completely it's a different. Di all right. The scales, Razor. All He's right. Great. He's got a long tongue. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so different. Um, I think. Oh lord. Uh, is that everyone on Ashra? Oh, I actually wanted to um, mention one thing. I saw a lot of folks saying how, like, she doesn't really have a Chris anymore, that it's a different sword. There actually is still a bit of curvature to it. You can see no, it in it's, uh, some it of the does still shots. It's, like, it, got some jaggedness, but it's way toned down. It's way toned down. It's, it's toned like, down, but it's, it's, not, not, even... it's not like she's wielding Excalibur. That's all I'm saying. Well, it's weird because Chris's in real life are as wavy as they were in Deception. Yeah, like it's it's a it's a design that is specific to waviness, um, and I would ask I why do, do, they changed it. Like, the old sword looked cool. Yeah, that <laughs> doesn't make a lot of this, sense. This 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 one looks much more like generically, like oh, you'd buy this at a mall because like serrated swords are badass or whatever. Like, yeah, it's a little edge lordy. I don't know. There are types of Chris's, some are less wavy than others. I'll give it a pass, but again, like we don't know what's going to be gear, you know? I, I would Anywho. describe it as toned down, and yes, I don't I think agree. that's a, the direction that you should go with for something like that. I think the, the weirdness is a, a feature, not a bug. There is some moves at the end of the trailer where her sword is trailing with, like, purple energy. Oh, yeah, she has some, like, light moves and some darkness moves. That could be interesting. Yeah, it, it varies. It uh, I would like to uh, see shades. more about that, because that might be where the flavor is. Like I said, I don't want to judge her moves before we've seen all of them, but what was in the trailer was kind of boring to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I generally agree. A lot of generic sword dashes. I disagree with both of you, and I fucked your moms. <laughs> oh, Again? You know what that was? That was chaos. <laughs> Are we ready to embrace it? Um, because you apparently, will embrace chaos. Apparently you force chaos on people now. Apparently that's a thing All right. you do. Bef I'm before, but before you get into that, I want to read his bio so that we can have a yep. chipping up. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, it's good that you do, because this sets a lot of ground rules. Okay. Um, a citizen of the realm of Sado, Havoc is sworn to take down its oppressive regime and free his people. There, order is prized above all else. Lawbreaking is met with strict punishment. Its citizens live in strictly regulated castes. As a member of Sado's lowest caste, Havoc had neither rights nor privileges. He seethed with anger at the injustice. When he is brutally punished for a minor crime, 
Havoc finally decides to act. He sets out to destroy Sato's regime and replace it with an anarchist utopia. Once he breaks Sato's social order, Havoc will free its citizens. Together, they will live in blessed anarchy. So, Chad? first of all, I will bet money Sato doesn't show up in story mode. Nope. <laughs> He's going to spend uh, all of his time bringing chaos to Outworld or Earthrealm, and nothing in his bio will be relevant. <laughs> um, so... You know what? You go first, because I, I have to organize my thoughts a couple moments. I'm going to go to the bathroom. You guys go. I'll be right back. Um, I, have a, I have a thing or two to say. Regarding story, I think we mentioned Serena might actually be in story mode because of Ashra. It seems that Dar uh, Darius's connection here is to Havoc, what I, is what I'm thinking. I mean, it would make sense if Darius appeared in story mode. I will say, like, as, as like, outfits as evidence go, his is more like somebody went this 3d costume kind of sucks and lightly redesigned it but it is still the 3d era costume as opposed to a new outfit altogether right um he still could show up in story uh i would not expect it um i wouldn't be counting on it because honestly i think um like I said, I don't expect uh, Havoc's bio to play into story mode at all. I don't think we're really going to have... I don't think Sato's going to have anything to do with what um, God Liu Kang is dealing with. People in his new timeline not doing what he wants them to do or whatever it may be. Um, I guess the elephant in the room is the fact that he's not even from Chaos Realm anymore. Like, is does, does Chaos Realm exist? I don't think it does. I think his whole thing is that he's going to create Chaos Realm. There's that line that Ashra says in the trailer where she's like, uh, like destroying one realm to save another or whatever the fuck. Hmm. That could be referring to separating Adenia from Outworld. <laughs> his story Maybe. does really bother me, honestly, because as for the design, I don't love it, but if I, the gameplay is cool, I can, there's nothing in the design that I can't look past, even though I don't really like the face as i don't like the fact that he's not skeleton b enough but yeah he, has really too, he still me. has too much flesh on his jaw and i'm not a fan of that um leo dicaprio hair flip style like yeah um, pull that shit back in a ponytail motherfucker too. yeah there's, but... there's a lot about havoc that disappoints me how is it that, me, how no. is it that 90 percent of the cast has man buns and the one guy who wore his hair pulled back is not wearing it pulled back Okay, I, I, I'm back, and I just want to say that the hair looks fucking stupid. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I thought I yeah. thought he was wearing a goddamn beret in the first picture I saw of him. <laughs> the well, hair has to go. I mean, for me though, the biggest problem is that, and this really pisses me off personally. Anarchy is not chaos. Anarchy is the belief that authority is not a genuine phenomenon, and we made it up. And that's oh, why my. no one is allowed to coerce you. It's not. Chaos is pineapple on pizza. It's not anarchy. It's not... Oh, gosh. Yeah, well, it drives me nuts. I'm glad you started it, Temp, because I actually wanted to fucking get into a real thing here about how chaos and, and anarchy are not the same thing at all. I'll give anarchy, you the mic, Chad. I'll yeah, let you take over anarchy, from here. Anarchy implies the downfall of a government. It's not like people eating each other in the streets. It's about taking down an established order and replacing it with something else. Oftentimes something voluntary, something perhaps community-based, like people for the people. Anarchy is not tearing people's eyeballs out or just doing things for the sake of lol random. It's a very misunderstood concept. Original Havoc. Now, before I say anything else, actually I should say, I am looking forward to this new Havoc. I think his costume looks pretty cool for the most part. Minus the hair. And I think the original's face was much better. I don't dig the. Yeah, whole... I'm. I'm. I'm fine out... with the outfit from the neck down. I just really don't yeah. like the face and hair. Scooped out lower mouth is not what I would have done here. And and I feel like the protruding metal bits are going to be gear. Like they made half his face. Is I mean, be I mean, gear. hopefully he has an alt with the ponytail and a more yeah, me exposed too. bone jaw. Like I just said when we were talking about like fucking Ashra just now. 
and Serena, if you give me one fucking good costume, I honestly, I don't care about how bad the main one is. Like, oh, I and glowing eyes. I've seen a lot woman. of, I've seen a lot of edits where they added a glow to the eyes and it changes everything. It makes him look way more like Havoc. Yeah, why is, oh God, it hurts me. Okay, so cool shit first. Razor, I know you're not a fan of the blood magic he appears to be using, like the floating blood ball out of the mouth and down towards the guy. I think it's all right. I can live with it. Like, if again, if there's one guy that could be using, like, kind of fucking weird blood magic and disfiguring himself and puking up blood, sure. Havoc kind of fits the Yeah, game. I mean, like, rip ripping his limbs off to beat you with them and then growing a new limb is within the scope of what he used to do where he would snap his bones and all that. Yeah, right. I'm I'm 100% down with that. In Chaos Realm, we saw people with, like, eyes in their mouths and stuff and disfigurements and, like, scars everywhere. It's fun. I think Havoc mostly looks really cool, and I am really, really pleased to have him back. With the addition of Havoc in this game, I have Havoc, I have Smoke, I have Reiko. I have, like, the trifecta of people I wanted most yeah, in the, my The MK. thing of it is, if you go by just a list of names, this is the greatest roster any MK game has ever had by my yeah. standards. Mm -hmm. it's, the, only the problem is, so many, so many uh, costume designs and story elements and move lists have been monkey pawed. <laughs> so, yeah, like, short of Kai, I have everything I could ever ask for, really in the bounds of believability, because playable Mataro is not believable anymore. So we so we have that distinction between anarchy and chaos, and the original Havoc was very much about chaos. He was not a character that you could confine. I'm not sure if you guys talked about this when I went to the can just now, but like, that bit about him being from Sado is very important to understanding this Havoc, because this Havoc is as different from original Havoc as current Reptile is from original Reptile. This is more Anarchy Havoc. This is a guy whose view of chaos is colored by the fact that he is from a fascist realm that, about, about inflicting order on people. Except that he's just taken a 50-50. It's Yang instead of Yin. Yeah, you this... will embrace chaos. That's a very totalitarian way of looking at it. And This Havoc is more like... like if Darius or Dairu went crazy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. It's like a mixture between the two. The original Havoc said something to Shushinko along the lines of, I would never seek to confine such a fine spirit as your own. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Deception Havoc was very big on opposing anyone who would uh, force things on other people. He would never have used mind control as a tool. Well, uh, he's... he did have you put pendants and amulets on some guardsmen to change yeah, their but way I... of thinking. I think, but in his mind, in his mind, those amulets were to break the brainwashing Sado does to people. Yes, exactly. <laughs> they set them free, not controlled them. Bingo. So the idea of like havoc in any form imposing his will on someone else is this is not something that I consider. Like... I just, I just don't like the the vocal delivery, the angry no. growling, no. the cold yeah, whispering was so cool. Like that's what made me like Havoc as a character. Like whole cloth, he it was... was all about that voice and attitude. And this is a different character, which again he is was... the premise of this game and this universe. And whatever, man. <laughs> the original Havoc was a very, very subtle character. I think he was the most subtle and well-executed people out of the entire original Mortal Kombat he, like, he was line of stories. He was unique nuanced because he was soft-spoken. Very, yes, nuanced is a good word for it. Yeah. And but, um, these changes don't surprise me because I think that, that that Havoc specifically speaks to a type of storytelling that, again, I don't mean to like it's... shit on Dom or anyone. It is not the level of storytelling that the past couple of MK games have brought us. Modern MK original yeah. Modern yeah. MK aspires to be Michael Bay. It does. And original Havoc is too nuanced and too subtle a character for that. And I don't I pretty much expected something like this. This is par for the course and it breaks my heart, but I can't say I wasn't yeah, ready a, for it. A, a soft spoken villain is simply not something they would do. A I am going to have fun with him. I'm going to, I guarantee you, I'm going to put in the work and he's going to be one of my mains completely, but I'm going to miss original Havoc. A character, a character who's all about chaos, sc angrily screaming his lines is so 
boring. It's such an autopilot decision. It's like low-hanging fruit to me. I I really miss miss the raspy whisper to his voice. Yeah. Like Chad said, the subtleness is what pisses me off. I hate that he's he's just so tryhard now. Um, in terms of his cost, I I I, I might be a a little different from you guys. I don't like his costume like I don't at either. all. <laughs> it's there's a lot of characters in this game already that are just like, what do we do? I don't know. Put some jagged armor and some belts on them. And this is all, th that's entirely what Havoc is wearing. It's, it, it's, some people say that it's similar to his well deception look, it but is... it really isn't. Well, like... here's the thing is that, like, on the arms and from the waist down, it's basically the same. Even, like, the shoulder pads, the, the spiky, like, he did have those, and they've even got, like, that shuriken-shaped buckle. It's I'm just, surprised it's, it's missing, still there, yeah. It's missing yeah. the, like, the the sash that came down that had, like, a uh, ribbed padding. They, they've replaced that with those belts. That's the main thing. That and the helmet. Like, the helmet would have been a lot... I hate all the spiky lot, shit on him. The helmet would have been a lot better than that headband, I think. <laughs> Agreed. What's all the random, like, metal and shit on him, though? That's what I fucking hate. On his, like, left arm? Yeah, yeah I, I, I yeah, remember uh, it was on his left there. arm. Well, that's the same yeah. thing as uh, they gave those those that like claw weapon to Shang Tsung, and you know, um, rain with a staff, rain with a katar in the previous game. It's it just more give people weapons, give people. Well, weapons. me because in his fatal that. blow, he like punches them until his bones are out. But he, it looks like he's using the spiky thing on yeah. his fucking arm, so it's pointless. I hate that so much. Like it looked to me like. Like he was punching them so hard his own arms were shattering and he digs the actual bones of his arm that's what he does that's what yeah. he does it, it's just it's at a confusing. first glance at a first glance you think it's the big fucking spike on his other arm <laughs> yeah it, it, it's <laughs> pointless <laughs> cinematically the idea does not come across does not like what's the word it doesn't it's come across the maker from kids in the hall it's the yeah the, maker. the fact that he's already got a big metal spike on him is obscuring the fact that, that he's man. punching you until a spike comes out of his arm <laughs> i got oh, that man. Man. Good thank work. you shed because I, I hope everyone gets it i hope there's a we live in a world where everyone understands the pasta maker but i i guess i do have one question for d4 uh what's the biggest offender what's the if you, if you, only, you only change one thing you're only allowed to change one thing what would you change about having uh, I, I mean the eyes for sure. I think the eyes would make this design tolerable, but I do miss the skeleton face because it's like, it, I always liked how he kind of looked like Eddie Iron Maiden. Like he always gave that vibe of like, I don't know. I he's just so badass. Like the white he eyes. He also looked like he was smiling face. too. Yeah, I, it, it was. I would, yeah, I would just give him his original head back, man. It's yeah, everything above the neck. Uh, yeah, just <laughs> change the head. Not good. <laughs> Yeah, just, just I, I think I'm in agreement. Replace the head with the old head, and I'm good. As much as I really fucking hate the the belts uh, on his chest, I, I really want that fucking head back. I mean, yeah, if everyone have, has belts, yeah. that'd make everything tolerable. <laughs> I, I do want to point nice out game, less, because, like, <laughs> you know, there is there is just there is a lot of fucking cool shit here about him to love, like move and execution wise. Like he looks really fucking cool. And I am so fuck. I like, we've been asking for this guy for like how many decades now, and it is a wonderful thing to have him back. It truly is. And there's a moment where like where Serena comes out in the trailer, and he has this idle stance where his head is just upside down. I yeah. do love that. I really like yeah. that. Yeah, I'm so fucking good. I'm glad that they kept some of the the bone breaking like that. I'm gl I, I'm I'm certain we have to see more of it. That that there's more yet to be seen. I'm looking forward to that. I'll say, I think the tech of him, like, regenerating limbs looks very fucking good. Yeah. And, it, like, if you yeah. pause it and, like, slow it down, you can see it, like, actually regenerate. And it looks amazing. Yeah, I think that is actually very impressive. Hurt. Yeah, yeah exactly. I don't, I don't want this to come across as us just being, oh, God, like, everything about Havoc sucks now. It's just that we're conflicted about it, you know? There's yeah, no, I'm... Really I'm a, yeah. Shit. It's, it's the same thing as, like, I am 90% in a, a approval of what they've done here. I just... Replace the head, the head with a whole head, it's old head, and I'm good. Yeah. I mean, I don't, that's yeah. No, the go ahead. Go on. No, the torso I was just gonna say, 
I was just going to say, with an alternate costume, I don't see them changing, like, his eyes, for instance. Because they don't usually do that. They usually want to... They have this thing where they fucking always want the face model to be able to, you know, see their actual face. And I think that's part of why they made him look, like, more human than he did. Like, I don't... I, it just looks like fucking Jonah Hex or something I, now. I hate the face so much. There is a there is a sense of, like, NRS's art team in their, uh, their obsession with, like... Um, modeling more realistic faces and making sure that they emote as much as they can and like oh you have to always be able to see what direction they're looking in and what emotion they're expressing they're missing what we the fans actually like the most about the characters the the glowing eyes are a big part of a lot of the characters who have them I mean, and the fact that colors keep changing uh, you know ever since MKX you've been able to see Raiden's pupils through the glow some of these things yeah I don't like that are not visually appealing to, you know, they're they're by the devs for the devs. They're not for being done for the audience's sake. All I gotta say is this: when you're hitting a point where you're doing facial modeling for something like Goro that doesn't have a human face and never did, this is why we initially had like that reaction to Goro that we did when we first saw him. That like, what is this? This looks like some dude. It's because they modeled some dude. They're forgetting, like, the gigantic, enormous jaw, the huge forehead, the sloping, like, the ridges of his face, the, the huge cheekbones. Some of these people don't have human features, and when they don't have human features, you should not be modeling people for them. At all. I do wonder how they, like, mocap Baraka. <laughs> could, you, could, could you imagine, like, Moloch being facial captured for? Just for a second? Yeah, what are you going to do? Get, you? Bring a gorilla into the studio? <laughs> <laughs> hey, us. How, do, how are they doing Motaro's walking? <laughs> Did they get a That's horse? That's a good question. They led a horse in. Yes. Yes. That's what uh, Red Dead 2 did, so... Fucking hell. Maybe they reached out to their yeah, friends Yeah, but Rockstar, Rockstar are, like, like good footage? video game developers? <laughs> <laughs> not <Ouch>. anymore. <laughs> I just feel like there's one thing you could do with every character that would bring me that would that would pull me to the other side. For like for Smoke, with all my complaints about the mask, if there's one thing I could fix, it would be his hair. If I could only have one thing yeah. back, just give him his long, sexy hair and we're yeah. good. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be an alt for that. Me t- me too. Like I, I feel that long ass beautiful anime hair of smoke is too much of a thing now for them to forget about it completely, you know? It made an impact. The yeah, but at the start, but yeah, but Quiliang is Scorpion now. Oh, some things, some things are different. Some things are different. Some things are different. Other things are here. Still here's insane. the thing: is that by the third act of this story, Hanzo Hazashi Scorpion is going to fall out of a portal and be like, "What the fuck is this universe?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be here. I want to that's, get back over there. See, that's the thing is, like, you look at the character. So many characters have had their move sets radically changed. And then it's weird that Scorpion has all of Scorpion's moves. Yeah, Scorpion looks great. That, that suggests to so me that he's him. going to have a Hanzo Hazashi alternate because yep. I really hope so. Yep. By the end of this story mode, it's going to be fucking Crisis on Infinite Earths. One thing about the White Eyes, they did fix Scorpion and Sub Zero's cameos to actually have the White Eyes, and uh, mm-hmm. I'm surprised even fucking Reiko has White Eyes. That that's one thing that shocked me. I yeah. did not expect him to have yeah, them. Yeah, I am pleasantly surprised that Reiko doesn't have pupils in his eyes. Yeah. Give me that gameplay. Give me that gameplay. I do, that like, gameplay. I do That's wish, I I do wish that they were glowing blue, because the coolest thing about Reiko was they glowed so hard that, like, the, 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 the eye sockets around the eye were lit up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll take That's what a... I can get. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. white is better than pupils. Yeah. yeah. It's Guaranteed. just, in a perfect Literally. world, we'd get blue. Some of those, some of the first bits of footage that we saw were like, were like Liu Kang in the dark, and his eyes did appear to be glowing, like that kind of soft blue. Were some of the best moments in that uh, that first reveal. Seems like they might be slowly starting to come around. Uh, so what haven't we talked about yet? I guess there's the the living forest. Uh, I was gonna say that I I love the bit with Striker. 
for that super oh, oh yeah, yeah. striker we got him. to see more of cameo striker i love everything about him <laughs> <laughs> striker was the best part of the trailer for me striker I loved striker it. super is my favorite thing in the trailer yeah even more Same. than serena the fact that he runs and, towards you blam 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 yeah <laughs> and the taser the taser is his uh his uh breaker yeah yeah I love that he starts shooting even before, even before it cuts to, like, showing them up close. Like, he's still shooting them. Yeah, yeah. It's so fucking <laughs> sick. And I really love the impact of him jamming the nightstick into their, yeah. their chest. That, that's so fucking sick. Yeah, Striker is the best. Like, one of my favorite parts of the game in general. I love Striker right now. It's... Once again, there are, there are things in this game where it's like, you look at the roster... And you look at the cameos, and it's like they are trying to, like, please older fans. And it's just... Yeah. But but the main roster is so different, and I'm stuck in this position where, like, I don't know if I can buy this game until I figure out who I would main, and I don't know if anybody looks like a character I would main. That's my issue right now. Like, if, I, if Reiko doesn't work out for me, I have Johnny Cage and Scorpion. Yeah, and like, those don't sound like if, very interesting names. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna play as Kwai Liang Scorpion. That's not my Scorpion yeah. or my Kwai Liang. Uh, the the only character I can think of whose moves really look like their traditional moves is Sun Lao. And it's like I'm not gonna buy a sixty dollar game just for one character. <laughs> why don't you do a uh, and Serena? Yeah, like maybe maybe I'll wait until the DLC comes out because then I'll have a main. You know. <laughs> Yeah. If uh, if I end up getting the game, Baraka looks like my character. I actually got extremely lucky with Lee Mei. I, I think Lee Mei is... There is are it... there are characters who look good. Lee Mei looks good, Baraka looks good. I just, I, I've i never... Those aren't characters I would normally play anyway, so... I don't know. It's, it's, it's tough right now to find someone who, like, fits my style. Um, did you I guys... Talk... I, I can't... I can't for, for all I know, I'm gonna wind up, like, just playing a completely separate character when the game's out and I've had a chance to test everyone. I thought that I would be actually be playing as, like, someone like Odal Khan or, like, Bar... Yeah, not Baraka. Kung Lao or Lu in X once I knew Smoke was off the table. I just gravitated towards Melina. I have no interest in her, but suddenly she just seemed like the only viable option to me. I know yeah, with I don't know. I I find it really difficult to like get into the gameplay of a character if I if I'm not super into their design or story. Like a lot of it's got to do. I'm, with the I engine have a very too. like holistic attitude towards how I play these things. Um, like, I don't know. Maybe maybe Lee May will have a really cool alternate costume, and then I'll be like, okay, yeah. I feel like a lot of people are going to be playing Lee May. <laughs> so, uh, something that, that uh, was revealed with the Gears trailer is that I, I guess Gear is coming back. We talked about yeah. this very briefly. I mean, we, we've all expected everybody to have, like, everybody has, like, one piece that stands out. Like, you can see in Havoc that sometimes he has, like, these, these almost metallic-looking uh, chunks of bone on his cheek and jaw, and then in other screenshots, they're not there. Yeah, part of his face. Is oh, I didn't eyes. notice that. Yep, Some I didn't of notice that was gone. Gears' chest thing changes, I've and been uh, some of his changes. I've been saying it since like day one on the first fucking reveal trailer, man. Shang's claws, all the ninja masks. It's been right there the entire time. They're yeah. just not talking about it because they know that gear didn't go over completely well since like last time. Yeah, if it's so just one piece, I'm completely fine with that. I'd rather it be toned down than, like, three pieces again. Yeah, if, if I can put, like, a different mask on Sub-Zero, I might give him a shot, you know? Yeah, if he has a classic yeah, mask, that'll like look way better. Mythologies or the Deadly Alliance Cryo mask. Yeah. It does kind of bother me that if I do want a better costume, I have to choose between the canon costume versus the, the non-canon costume. Yeah, that's the thing, is, like, everybody's gonna be ugly in story mode, no matter what your personal version is. Well, I just don't like playing things that aren't real. I don't like playing things that aren't... Because at least the classic UMK3 costumes were at one point a canonical costume. Um, I mean, the way I look at it is, look at it is I'm going to be seeing the story mode once 
twice, maybe three exactly. times over the next three years. To me, the characters I see on screen during a fight, that's what matters to me. It's why I don't, like, you know, care so much if the main costume sucks. I know I'm going to have plenty of options. Yeah, as long as it looks good in the fucking match, that's all I need. That's all yeah, I yeah. care about. I mean, my my issue is more like when you go into when you go into multiplayer, you can't control what uh, the other guy you're playing with pick to wear, and uh, sometimes you get like, oh, we're playing Injustice Two, and Temp has to pick the shitty Sub Zero to <laughs> troll me. Yeah, right, he does. <laughs> when I played Mortal Kombat Eleven, I had to look at the fucking Joker so much. <laughs> After that. I don't care what any MK characters were. Bring on Piss Zero. It's less offensive to my eyes. I don't know. I mean, honestly, people misunderstand Piss Zero. Everyone <laughs> zooms in on the color, but it's really the shitty old man arms that crown it off for me. I think that's really... Oh, every, every single aspect of Injustice Sub-Zero is ugly as fuck. Yeah, I, like, like I said in the general section the other day, Piss Zero isn't about me, it's about the people I care about. <laughs> <laughs> the real Piss Zero was the friends you made along the way. No, it's the enemies you made out of your friends along the way. <laughs> Is that us? Do we have we covered everything? Uh, I still want to talk about how cool the the on fire skull tree living forest looks. I enjoy that stage. Mm -hmm, where all the faces are skulls and shit. Yeah, yeah it it's does like... look cool. I'm guessing the green fire, because again, we saw the green skulls Ashra was fighting, and that's that's the stage where it happens. It seems like Quan Chi was there, and he was with Havoc, and they're the ones who set the forest on fire. I'm it still... seems like we'll be getting more fucked up stages to come, because Boone commented on that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm still uh, curious to find out if, like, the bad guys are just... Uh, ruining things to ruin them and the living forest looking more mk2-ish when they set it on fire is a coincidence or if quan chi or havoc knows about previous timelines and is trying to like unreboot lose world <laughs> yeah But yeah, like the the stages continue to all pretty much across the board look beautiful. Uh, even the fucked up ones. Uh, the music is the best we've had in like a decade plus. Um, the cameos continue to be fucking great. Yep. The only thing that's really not appealing to me is like the the way main roster characters look and the story. So, I mean, that's still mostly a win, I guess. I, I mean, think there's for, a lot of effort, yeah, in a lot of regards. No, go ahead. I, I think the big question I have right now, and this is not a shit post. I really mean this. I want to know the frame data on Reptiles Dash. That's really important to me. Yeah, I mm. want to see that ace. That shit, it got punished in the trailer, so. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't realize that. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, um, that, that's good too. I mean, it's bad, but it's also really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I was gonna say the the Cyrax cameo is cool too. Oh yeah, I, I, lo love I love that living... Cyrax uh, has his helicopter as one of his cameo moves. <laughs> yeah, that is sick. <laughs> I do love the new Living Forest version that we've seen today. But I don't know, man. I think the best Living Forest is always going to be the one that's in my head. The one that actually scares the shit out of me. Yeah. It's probably too gruesome for actual physical release. Yeah, I mean, the thing, the, the burned down dead trees are not, like, roaring and eating people, so it could be scarier. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm expecting them to be, like, thrashing around and stuff, and they just seem to be stationary. I do wish one of the, one of the variants had the roars. I don't know why, why they, none yeah, of them like, do. The, the trees seem to be, like, very still. They're not still. very yeah. living, are they? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's more like forest... Facey McForest living forest. Yeah, I don't it's know. it's it's not the living forest. It's just the forest with faces. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only thing I, I like the new it stage. Looks, but it, yeah, it looks good. It's probably the best looking living forest we've had. The blankly staring forest. <laughs> yeah, the blankly staring forest. <laughs> it's probably the best looking one overall we've had since Shaolin monks. It's it's good. good. I just you know motion animation. The tree should be alive. Yeah. <laughs> just just worried about that a little bit. Is that it? I think it actually might be. No. Yeah. All right. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> it's done. Uh, I I hope people enjoy this episode. I know that ever, all of us but Cyborg are the negative ones. 
no, <laughs> he was barely here. No, I'm very excited no. for the game. No, I mean, they... I know. We discuss, we dissect, we analyze, we say what we like, and right? We say what we but don't like and. My my it's point is negativity. that we're, we're all from an older generation who has higher standards and different expectations than all these young kids that were that our growing you know, audience is made I up of. I'm starting to see a lot of people from the Netherrealm generation that are understanding where we were when Mortal Kombat Nine came out. You know, is that true? Yes, I am. I've seen a couple people in the in the Discord go. I get it now. I really do. Yeah, I mean, I've seen one or two of those, but there's such a large amount of uh, new people who are, like, mad when we're not as hype as they are. And, I mean, I get that. That's the reason you sort of look up uh, reactions if when you see something a video game releases and you're like, this is really cool, I like this, what do other people think? Are they as excited as I am? You want to see how you feel reflected back at you? You want to yeah. commiserate with people of a like mind? And so when, when we're not on the same page as a lot of them because we, we liked the older games better, um, I get why that, you know, makes some of them unhappy. I just hope that this episode sounds fair and balanced because I've certainly uh, struggled to find positive things to focus on and not just complain the whole time. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of things I love that a lot of people either don't give a shit about or they actively hate. Um, I'm still pushing the Grand Blue narrative, um, and it's not taking. And it hasn't been taking for about three years now, but I'm still trying. So I can relate. I get it. But, like, just is what it is. I mean, you folks don't seem to be all that enthused about New Ashra. I seem to be. We all seem to be equally mixed about Havoc. We all seem I mean, to be just... very confused by Reptile. Again, what I liked about <laughs> Ashra was a very small, specific thing that is not represented in this version of Ashra, and that's fine. I can't, you know, expect them to make a game just for me, I guess. <laughs> they haven't been making games just for us since the late... No, no, they haven't, they haven't given a fuck what I think in 12 years. <laughs> but they still give us cookies, which is what I'm grateful for. I like the taste of cookies. I like those I, I will, 95 outfits. You know what? At least... I don't know if they got the idea that Serena should be shape-shifting from me or from other people who heard me say it and started repeating it or what, but it exists. I have to take that win. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to comment uh, on... Uh, just uh, the dash blocking change is a, an amazing change. Oh yeah, and the, when people the were talking, looks way better. Yeah, when people were like, oh, MK9 dash blocking is back, I'm like, they're full of shit. It's probably not, you know, like MK9, but it actually is. And it might be even faster, I don't know, but that shit <laughs> looks awesome, and I'm very fucking happy about it. Uh, I think it'll just be an overall good change for the game, because I really like like the feel of the, bait, of the stress test, but I think this will make it, like, more in line with MK9, and I don't think it'll be exactly like MK9, no way. Like, the frame data still probably needs changed or adjusted, but... We don't know how cameos will like affect that completely yet. So, um, uh, did they say if uh, buttons like normal, like normals, will cancel dashes too? I'm pretty sure. At least from what I've heard, they will. And what I see in the gameplay that Ketchup posted, it looked like he was just like dashing up and doing like strings and shit. So, okay. yeah. All right. Well, that'll be that'll be cool to see. What um, PC is not getting the beta, are they? No. No, they're not. Alright, so I will have no idea. <laughs> not until actual <laughs> release. Um, but yeah, that's that was the episode, guys. We did it. Um, see you later, nerds. Are, are the rest of you going to say goodbye, or is it just me? <laughs> I'm not. Fine, fuck you. Uh, take care, care of and and beat you to death with it. Have a nice day. Rude. Take care, everybody. Bye.